Hey YouTube, this is Hunger Troll here. Today I'll be showing you how to speed up your computer significantly with a hefty little program called NameBench. NameBench is an open source DNS benchmark utility and what it does is it hunts down open source DNS servers and it lets you connect to them and basically gives you faster internet. Um, it doesn't actually change any of your internet settings um, or it doesn't give you bigger bandwidth, but it does connect to websites faster because what a DNS server is, is it's something that points to websites and it gets their uh, IP addresses back. And based on your DNS server, you, that is what determines how fast you get access to websites. Ugh, close out of that. Um... I have actually um, already done this video and I'm just re-recording it because uh, last video didn't record my voice so I've already done all the steps so I'm going to try to explain them the best I can. So um, let's start off with downloading NameBench. You're going to go to a website that's going to be in the description. It's actually a Google uh, formed project and you're going to go to downloads and download the NameBench of your um, operating system. Um, after that, you should get a file like this, and just double click it and hit extract, and it'll open something like this. And once that's open, um, tick these two boxes, um, change your query data source to your internet browser, your location to where you live, and leave health check performance at fast. You can either change your number of queries to 250 or 460. I do 250 for faster results because this is a time consuming process. Also, if at any point in this video I'm going too fast, please feel free to pause the video. I'm just trying to rush through this as fast as I can. Okay. Um, like I said, this is already done. That's why you'll see I have two DNS servers up here. But usually you'll have just one DNS server, your primary DNS server that your um, internet company provides, in my case, Time Warner Cable. Um, usually they give you crummy ones because it's not in their interest to give you better ones as it is more expensive to maintain and, I don't know, they're just not very customer friendly. <laughs> Alright, so now you're just going to hit Start Benchmark and you're going to wait for the results. Once the results are up, it'll open a new web page that should look like this. Um, as you can see, my DNS server I have from Time Warner Cable is the slowest out of all the ones they found. And the fastest one is an open DNS, and it's 582% faster. And uh, the DNS server IP is right here. And you can just transfer it and switch it with your primary DNS server like so. Uh, you're going to go to um, view status for your connection, properties, and you're going to go into IPv4, hit properties, and you're going to hit use the following DNS server addresses, and just type in the one that you want to use, or the one that's fastest for your area. Um, I've already done it, so that's why it's right here, but usually it would be a obtain DNS server automatically since I have a dynamic IP address, which means it changes all the time. So let me just type it in again. Uh, 208.67.222.222. And you're going to hit OK, just like that. Close and close. Now, a way to test this is by taking the speed test. I took the speed test right after I... Um, did the name bench and it increased a lot it was at three megabits per second for download speed and the upload speed was actually higher it was at 90 or 0.95 megabits per second the download speed went up 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 to 11.86 megabits per second while the upload went down a little bit to 83 or 0.83 megabits per second um, the ping stayed at around the same area or yeah, at around the same area because the location of the DNS server is basically where my previous one was. So, no change there. That's fine. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that right there. And um, you can always undo the changes by just going back into your uh, network and sharing center. 
and uh, view status, uh, properties, IPv4, and just hit obtain DNS server automatically. That'll get rid of that. So, here, let me even take a speed test again for your viewing pleasure. Alright, here we go. 56 mega, er, milliseconds. This is 7, 8, 9. It's still not bad. Sometimes it changes around, so can't really complain there. And it is 90 or point ninety four. Can I get a 95? Alright, cool. And, uh, yeah, that is my speed with the new uh, DNS server. Before that, it was very, very bad. So, thank you for watching this video. And um, hope to, or I hope to be making more videos soon. Alright, peace out, YouTube.